what's up guys in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how i will actually scale my rabbit so this is our scale up here i just owned it okay um this particular scale you can actually scale your rabbit both in pounds and in kilos yes so this particular rabbit i'm going to be scaling it using this bucket putting it inside this bucket and i'll hang it here i'll be scaling like four to five of my rabbits so that you guys can actually know the heaviest so as you guys know for angoras they have a lot of hair their hair just makes them look big so you, you're gonna see the secret behind that today so first of all we are going to be scaling this particular rabbit here this is our scale so come closer so that i'll show you them something just come closer so our scale here i just off it and on it again um hope you guys can see so when you see down here is written units this unit here if you click on it it will change it will change it will change then this one here is in kg yeah this kg here then you can change it to pounds this lb is pounds so anyone you want to use you can actually use it if you change it here this one here is kg this one here is lb this lb means pounds yes anyone you want to use you can actually use it to scale them so the americans like scaling the ass in pounds yeah but here we know the kg so we are going to be putting it in the kg section here and we are going to be scaling so one of the major goals of rabbit farmers is to hit 2.5 kg in every of their rabbits to hit 2.5 kg this rabbit here it has given bet yes when it has not given bet it will weigh more but it, as it has given bet it has lost a lot of weight so we are going to be scaling it i'm going to be putting okay first of all i'm going to be hanging our um bucket here as you can see it's in kg when we hang our bucket it will show just come closer so that they can actually see when we hang our bucket here it will show like two two four five as you guys see zero point two four five kg that's the weight of the bucket so we are going to be clicking on ta ta means going back to zero yes so it will go back to zero here so if zero point two four five enters now it won't record so we are going to be putting our rabbit in here now after reducing the number of the buckets you are going to be putting our rabbit in here <laughs> it actually needed to jump out <laughs> we're going to be putting it in here inside the bucket then we are going to be scaling it sorry 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 so um i think i should bring it out so that we can actually have a better um view of it i think i should bring it out from here because the this particular rabbit is struggling a lot so we bring it up we use our hand to hold it so that we can see what we are doing okay so as you guys can see we're going back again as the bucket is here it did not read did not read yeah minus 2.5 so putting the bucket is at zero now hope you guys can see if i remove the bucket is at minus 2.5 which is showing that it's supposed to use this bucket to scale and if i put in the bucket it's showing zero if i put in the bucket here it's supposed to show zero okay let's take it back to zero now okay zero so we are going to be putting our rabbit in here now and scaling it yeah so sorry please just you know the rabbit is very big so I think this um, bucket did not actually contain her. I, don't think. I think I should get a bigger bucket here. I think I should get a bigger bucket. Yes, yeah, so we are going. So we have actually gotten a bigger bucket that will contain the rabbit, so you cannot actually shake. So we are going to put it in here and um, then take it back to zero. As you can see, this particular bucket is weighing like 0 0.540. So if you put it in like this, it's weighing zero. Remove it, 0 0.53. Put it in, it's weighing like zero. That's the normal kg. So we can actually know the weight of this, our rabbit. So we're just gonna take our rabbit now and put it inside. So we see the weight Yeah. So the uh, scale is actually shaking. So this is the weight of the rabbit 3.345 kg as you can see it's 3.345 kg there so that's the weight of this particular new zealand black 
rabbit here. Yes, 3.345. So most times, the reason why we scale our rabbit is because like for the females, let's say for instance now, you don't really know how to palpate your rabbit. Let's say for instance, you don't know how to palpate your rabbit. You can actually use this scale to know when your rabbit is actually pregnant. I will tell you how that works. When you get your scale, before you cross your rabbit, let's just take for instance, before you cross your rabbit, you scale it and the rabbit is 2 kg. Then after crossing, two weeks after crossing, you now scale the rabbit and you notice the rabbit has gained over 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 kg. You will just know that this particular rabbit might be pregnant. Yes, because for the, the possibility of them gaining 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 kg in the space of just two weeks is actually very low or 0 0.5, yeah. So if you just see that it has increased like up to 0 0.5 kg, you know that, okay, definitely there will be kids inside this particular rabbit. So there is a possibility that she's pregnant. So you can actually use that to also know. So this particular scale here, after weighing the rabbit and getting it out, you still see um, the, the, the number won't get, go out. So this is 3.345, that's what we got. So you can just write it out there. So we are going to be scaling this our New Zealand white and we're going to know the weight. So we go back to zero, we put in our bucket, that's 0 0.3, then we go back to to zero okay and we're gonna be putting our new zealand white rabbit in there then we're gonna be seeing the weight of it so let's just make the bucket steady so that we can see the weight so you can see this new zealand white rabbit is weighing 2.97 2.97 kg that's what this new zealand rabbit is weighing 2.97 so we are going to come to my heaviest rabbit, just stay tuned so that we can actually see. So after that, the next one we are going to be scaling is um, our Angora, yeah, our Angora. So our Angora here, as you guys know, Angora are not really weighty, but they have a lot of fur, yes. Their fur makes them look very, very big. So, so we are going to be weighing our Angora rabbit to actually know how many cages she is. Yeah, so this is our Angora rabbit out here. She has uh, like six kids there. Then, as you can see, she pulled a lot of fur. So she has lost a lot of hair in her stomach. Yeah, so this is our rabbit, Angora. Then we're gonna be taking our scale back to zero. Then we put in our bucket. Then we take it back to zero. Okay, then we are going to be putting our Angora in there. I know it won't wear a lot. <laughs> okay. So our Angora rabbit weigh 2.345. Yeah, 2.345 kgs. Hope you guys have seen that. One of the reasons why their um, weight is um, like low is because almost all, in short, all of them have weighed here have given birth. Yes. So if you, if you weigh the one that does not have a kid, you just see that the the kg will increase. So look, let's weigh one of the rabbits here that does not have a kid, so that you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. So we are going to be weighing our checkered rabbits. The first we have we had 3.3, we had 3, uh, 2.7, then now we have about I think 2.3 kgs. So we are going to be weighing our checkered rabbits here. This is one of my biggest. It's gonna be the last we are going to be weighing. So we hold our scale, put it at zero, put in our bucket, hang our bucket like this. Then we're gonna take it back to zero down here. So now we're gonna be putting our chair cut rabbit inside the bucket. Let's see how many kgs he actually weighs. Whoa, guys, 3.6 kgs. <laughs> guys, you can see that. So, this checker rabbit is actually weighing 3.6 kgs. I, I just hope I get to 4 kgs at this particular, with this particular rabbit. And I, and I know I will hit that. So, guys, thank you for watching this video. And do have a nice day. Peace.